What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jay's 392 back with another one. So today we're gonna be installing a front lip splitter that I got from a friend of mine. He purchased it from Vicrest. Uh, and then he ended up upgrading his scat pack to a Durango Hellcat. So it was up for sale. I said, you know, how much do you want for it? He gave me a really good price. It was really expensive from the website. It was like something like close to 500 bucks. He gave it to me for 150, um, simply because he had no use for it. And it was a gift to him. So it's kind of like changed hands a couple of times. And the one thing that was that it didn't come with the, the, the hardware to screw it on. So I contacted Vicrace to ask me for the um, receipt. I contacted him for the receipt, gave it to me. And they sent me the hardware after they gave him all the information, plus a nice little, uh, you know, bottle opener, I guess. Which, you know, they didn't have that. I really didn't care for that. I just wanted to make sure I was able to put this front lip spinner on with the proper hardware because otherwise I would have to find a bunch of screws and nuts and bolts that I would have to guess the fitting and all that other stuff. So that would have been a nightmare. And I've seen other people put 3M tape um, to try to like stick it on there just by itself, which is crazy because that part of the vehicle does get a little um, beat up considering the bumps, the speed, you know, it's the first part of the car in the front. And overall, just not a good situation if you're gonna use just 3M tape. So I wanted to make sure I got that, got it done. And now we're here to set it up. So um, my boy's over here with me. We're gonna put it together. We're gonna put it on and we're gonna see how it looks. Shout out to my boy Two Men to Destroy over here, just uh, helping me with all these builds. You already know what it is. All right, guys, this is what it looks like all together. Very nice. Now we got to go and see how we're going to put it on, <laughs> which will be the tricky part. All right, to install the front lip, we have to take off the old pink uh, factory guard. And this is what happens. This is why they say you got to take it off as soon as you get the car because all that dust and everything builds up and messes up your paint. Luckily, I have something to cover with that splitter, but uh, yeah, for any of you future Mopar owners, make sure you take it off. Don't make the same mistake I did. The screws are super short. Yeah. Because they're not going to have that much gravity right. force. So we're cleaning the surface of the bumper, making sure it uh, has no dust or anything, just so that we can put uh, 3M tape to support the screws that we're going to put on it, because I feel like the screws aren't big enough. So I feel like with the support of the 3M tape and the screws, they should stick on there nice and well and be able to handle uh, highway speeds as well. Or maybe if I you know, scratch a bump or anything like that. Um, it's always better to be more secure than anything. And being that the 3M tape is not going to be invasive, it doesn't rip off your paint, I think that's a good solution. All 
All right, just putting the screws, making sure they're nice and tight down there. But this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. And it's done, nice and tight. Matte black finish, that's how I like it. Not bad. Alright, there's the finished product. Yeah man, I really like the way this thing came out. It looks real nice. All right, guys, there you have it. Um, I think it looks great, honestly. It, it, um, there's a real serious departure from that uh, pink uh, bumper guard that comes from the factory, and I know I had to take that off eventually. I got, I got a lot of complaints about how you need to take it off. You know, the factory says you gotta take it off because it messes up the paint, and I fully understand it, but I also like the way that it looked. Um, but now that I put the front lip spoiler uh, with that matte black finish, I think it, um, it, it complements everything else that I'm doing to the car, which is great. And I, I like it. I, I, I thought I was going to be, you know, on and off about it because I wasn't sure because I really like the way the bumper guard looked and everybody gives me... People that don't know about what it does give me compliments on how it looks because it goes so well with the smoke show paint. But now that I see this with the black and everything and how it, you know, it's just the way it's put together, the way it's built and how aggressive it looks, um, I think it's a, a lot better than before to be honest and i'm really happy with the way it came out and you know i i was very skeptical skeptical of getting one of these because you know i i've seen a couple other guys have them but the difference is that their cars are lowered so they're constantly hitting bumps and everything and messing these things up and buying new ones every other week so i'm like man this one's a little bit pricey it's gonna be my first one i don't know but so far so good i mean now i just have to be a little bit extra careful when i get to the speed bumps we have a lot of speed bumps in new york city and they're pretty high so you gotta be careful with how you get on the groove on those things but other than that i think i'll be fine um i don't i don't drive this car too crazy and uh you know they have been doing a good job at fixing most of the potholes in the city so I, i'll give them credit for that but yeah for the most part i really like the way it looks but um yeah you let me know how it looks uh hit me up in the comment section uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.